Hi, my name is Jason Lala. I'm a certified prosthetist and a clinical director here at Next Step Bionics and Prosthetics in Manchester, New Hampshire. Today we're going to be going over the Symphony AquaCast Below the Knee Casting System. It is a unique system that allows us to cast a patient and create a cast under total weight bearing. Uh, what makes this unique is the bladder inside of this cylinder that is surrounded by water. When we have a patient, once we have wrapped the limb, we will have the patient stand up, put their limb into the casting vessel under full weight bearing. After all, we are designing the prosthesis to stand and walk on, not to be sitting in a chair. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the casting process. We do the first part of this like we would with any other scenario. I'm going to use a barrier bag over the limb. We're using a six millimeter gel liner. And go ahead and I'm going to ask you to hold that in place. And as I normally would, I'm going to start marking bony landmarks. So when I have the cast, the finished result, I will have these for reference. Uh, this system can be used with a with brand new amputee or someone who is a, as we call them, seasoned or veteran amputee uh, who may need a replacement socket. The one requirement we have is that the individual is able to actually uh, stand up under their own power for a total of about five minutes time. So sometimes with new amputees who, are, who have not gone through rehab yet, uh, we may choose to do the traditional hand cast method with them seated. But my model today is an active amputee and will be able to perform this task uh, quite easily, I would say. So again, we're using our normal elastic plaster bandage. And I'm going to wrap his limb with very little pressure because all of the pr pressure is going to be created uh, by this casting vessel. So we'll start above the knee. And wrap all the way down to the end. The other thing to consider is the size of the individual's limb. James has a, a rather long residual limb, uh, but that still is accommodated by this casting vessel. Um, obviously the opening is a certain circumference and that would, if someone's leg was extremely large, we would not be able to fit them, fit them into this. But that is not the case today. My second layer. I'm going to put an end cap over this. into place. All right, so now that we are finished with the plaster wrapping portion of this, I'm going to cover this so we can limit our mess. and place a second bag over the limb. And the reason for that is that this, his limb needs to slide down into 
the inner bladder inside here. We have used a water-based type uh, Vaseline type product which will help uh, lubricate that surface so he can actually slide in. James, I'm going to have you stand up and slowly bring your leg, the other leg forward and start putting pressure down on here. As he's applying pressure, I'm going to release this valve, which now is allowing water to transfer from the inner bladder into the reservoir bag. I monitor the amount of water that flows out of this system, and I can also monitor the amount of pressure that he is placing on his limb uh, by this gauge on the side. So I'm going to continue to watch how his leg presents inside of this, inside of the casting vessel. And once I get him down just over above the top of his knee, I'm going to start closing this off. I'm going to have him put as much weight as possible on his limb while he's standing here. And I'm going to drop you down just a little bit more until your hips are right around even. So would you say you're feeling a nice snug overall pressure? Yes. Is there, is there any pain involved? No, it feels good. Okay. Now you've, you've worn a prosthesis before. Does it feel like you're standing in a socket? Is it similar to that? Very similar. And that is, a, that is the difference. Normally when we're casting somebody in the past, they have stayed seated. We've applied hand pressure to the appropriate areas to design the socket. In this case, the water is kind of doing all the work it can create a far more global pressure than we are able to with our hands. Uh, and that's what makes this unique and what makes the results uh, so beneficial to designing the actual prosthesis. This takes about five minutes to set up. Uh, we have to allow the plaster to dry before we can actually remove the cast. Okay, it's been about five minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and remove them from the casting vessel, and I will then also remove the cast from his limb. What I end up doing is releasing the valve. This is letting water flow out of this vessel into the reservoir bag. You just need to let that water flow away from your limb and slowly start taking some of your weight off there. I'm gonna pull this out of the way. And then you can go ahead and take a seat. The one tricky thing is that because his, we have a cast on his limb, he's not able to bend his knee. So getting out of this can be slightly tricky, but not too bad. So we are going to remove this from his leg. There we go. It's a nice snug fit. So as you can see, all of our markings have transferred over onto the inside of this cast. Uh, and it, it is an extremely accurate representation of his anatomical shape. Uh, we've been very excited and encouraged by the results that we have achieved so far with the Symphony system. Uh, I, I think that conceptually, to cast somebody under full weight bearing makes complete sense. If you are interested in the Symphony system, uh, we encourage you to contact us through either our website or by a phone call. And I also want to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch our video.